uh, approved amount. There are so many studies out there that say we need more than a, the approved amount to keep our immunity up and running at optimum levels and to help us through flu season and to help us through COVID. I mean, that's one thing that COVID really shed light on was vitamin vitamin D. Yeah. Yeah. And vitamin D um, with vitamin C are so critically important. I think, you know, if we can get into a habit, again, I think these lifestyle habits are so critical. You know, maybe you live in an, a, a place in the country or in the world where accessing fresh fruit and vegetables during the winter season is tough. Don't worry, go to your freezer, you know, go to the freezer section in your store. And what you will find is a lot of the times the way frozen fruits and vegetables are processed, it's actually retaining more vitamin C than even if you find it fresh. So think about that, throwing a handful into your smoothie um, or, you know, and trying to get raw food in every day because those enzymes are so important. Um, Getting juice, okay? I want to talk about juice for just a quick second. I think people rely on juice, but juice can be very high in sugar. So I would use juice more as, you know, kind of a treat in smaller portions and really try and eat the whole fruit more than you're juicing because you're going to get a lot more sugar in there. Yes, I agree. Smoothies are the best. I mean, because you're not adding in that sugar, you're getting the sugar from the natural fruit versus yeah. juice. Yeah, and strawberries, blueberries, um, any kind of berry, those are going to be the lowest in uh, sugar in terms of your spiking your glycemic index. So they help to regulate your GI. So do, so do apples. Apples are a great mm-hmm. – apples and pears are a great thing to think about, especially this time of year uh, in the fall. Those are seasonal and a nice way to just kind of freshen up your, your smoothie. One other thing is pumpkin. You know, pumpkin mm-hmm. goes way beyond the pie. Yeah, Pumpkin is high in beta carotene, an, an antioxidant, very powerful antioxidant. Um, and it also has natural enzymes. So I have a great pumpkin smoothie in the book. I, I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make it this morning, actually. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin is great. Yeah, so tasty. And there's so many different diverse ways. I just, I always keep canned pumpkin in my pantry like year round because sometimes I can't find it year round. I stock Mm -hmm. up now. (laughs) So is there any, are there any Uh other additional tips that uh, you can add that we can close with today? Um, Just helpful hints for people. Maybe it's just even one routine that you would recommend for people to adopt in their everyday to manage their stress and sleep and boost their microbiome and get their nutrition in focus to help with their immunity? I think people really need to do what's best for them. And we live in a world where everything is so fast paced and we're doing for others that we need to slow down and really start taking care of ourselves. And self-care isn't necessarily you know, putting a mask on and laying in a bubble bath. I mean, self-care could be looking at your nutrition and starting to eat, you know, healthier foods, starting to take supplements that will boost your immunity, looking at what you may be deficient in. And, and, you know, maybe zinc is something you haven't even thought about, or maybe you don't know much about elderberry, but, you know, those are two great things to help us through the times right now, not only with COVID and the flu, but self-care is is vital to our well-being. We got to put the oxygen masks on ourselves in order to help everybody else. And yes. uh, I think it's, you know, our our own immune system is so incredibly powerful. We just have to take care of it like we would anything that we valued. And uh, certainly when our own machine breaks down, it's very hard to take care of others. Yes, I agree. Bernadette, thank you so much for your time today. This was really helpful. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I know you have a lot of choices out there of what to listen to, what to watch. So it means a lot to me that you're here with me. And hey, if you love this content, would you hit the subscribe button? 
I want you around. I don't want you to just show up for one episode and leave. I want you here, part of the conversation, a seat at this table. And while you're at it, would you share this with your friends and family? And if you take a screenshot and share it on your social media with a hashtag RFYBL for Recipes for Your Best Life, I'll make sure to personally give you a shout out and you may just be featured right here on the show. So until next time, here's to living deliciously and being the chef of your best life.